see yourself sitting here wherever you may be. We're going to take our roots and go down deep into the ground. Down into the floor, into the basement, deep, deep into the earth. We go down through the soil, around the rocks, and deeper and deeper into the ground. Until we find the waters that are deep beneath the earth, the waters of chaos, and we're going to suck those waters in, bring them up, bring them into our hips, up into our thighs, into our bellies, bring these waters up into our chest, and into our heads, feel these waters flow up and throughout, back down into the earth. Now, reach up high above you with your branches, with your arms. And find that light above you, that pole star that guides you. And bring down that light through the heavens, down through the roof and into your branches, into your arms. Bring that light down into your head, into your chest, your belly into your legs. Feel that light fill you up from above while this water from below courses up through your body. Feel the two powers mingling throughout you. The heavens above, the waters below, the powers of order and chaos flowing throughout your body. And then send off up to the sky whatever order you do not need. You'll send off back into the ground any chaos that you do not need. And know that you can connect to these two powers any time that you need to. But now bring yourself back to your center, the light above and the waters below. Take a deep breath in, out, in, and out. And when you are ready, join us once more. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround us, support us, aid us, Give us food. Give us a place to live. While you may be trying to burn us away this week with the oppressive heat that you have sent us, for all that you do for us, Earth Mother, we honor you. We love you. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Mighty well, you that connect us to the underworld, you uh, waters of the deep, we give to you this silver. Ask, sacred waters flow within us. And fire, you that connect us to the upper world. You who transforms and sends the smoke up. You take our messages up high and far. We offer to you and say sacred well. Burn, sorry, sorry, sacred fire. Burn within us. Mighty tree, you with roots deep below us, connecting us to the underworld, and whose leaves travel high and far into the upper world. You are a pathway between all the worlds. 
sacred tree, except their offerings, the sacred tree grow within us. And may all of these hallows be one with each and every one of our hallows. You see, the light of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made full and full of the light of the water and the light of the fire. This grove is made whole and whole. By the might of the water and the light of the fire, this grove is made whole and holy. And not only is it made whole and holy here, it is made whole and holy in each and every one of our homes. The incense will not fit into my home. So we call the gatekeeper, mighty gatekeepers. You who guide us and guard us, you who teach us and show us the ways. We call on you today to aid us once more. Watch over us as we walk your holy ways. Guard us and protect us as we do our works this evening. And take our messages far and wide and bring back what we need to hear. Gatekeepers, accept our offerings. Now, join your magic with mine. Gatekeepers of this fire become a gate to the upper worlds. Let this water become a gate to the underworlds. And let this tree be a tree, a road between all the worlds, open to our voices and open to our spirits. Let the gates be opened. Now we make offerings to the shining ones. Shining ones, gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us, you who look over this land, you who are known or unknown to us, for all that you do in our lives, we ask you to join us. Aid us and guide us in our works this evening. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Ancestors, you who are blood and came before us, you of our friends have passed way too soon. And you of this place, be you known to us or not. Ancestors all, for all that you do for us, we ask you join us, aid us, and guide us in our works this evening. Ancestors, accept our offering. And land spirits, fur and feather, scale and skin, you of animal. And surprisingly enough, mine are not currently here. Leaf and twig, stem and branch, plant animals, or plant life. Seen and unseen, the fae. The whites, and all of you who inhabit our houses, be you seen or unseen. Inhabit our lands, seen or unseen. 
land spirits, all come. Aid us in our works tonight. Land spirits, accept our offering. Now, we open this right to any offerings that need to be made. My offering tonight is to Lady Liberty, great goddess in the New York Harbor, watching over the ocean welcoming all who enter this land. May we remember why you are there. May you aid us and guide us in these many months and years to come. Today we celebrate the anniversary of independence for this great country. Today we honor you. Maybe liberty. Except their offerings. Are there any other offerings to be made? Great and mighty kindred, all of you that look over each and every one of us. Each and every one of us call to you and make this offering and ask that you see us, welcome us, accept us, and more importantly, that you accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Now, we ask mighty kindred, what blessings do you give us? Shining ones, what blessings? <laughs> the shining ones give us stores out. Thorn. It can be protection. It can be the thorn in the side of our bodies. Ancestors, what blessings do you give us? They give us elhas, elk, or elk sedge, protection. Especially the elk sedge for the small animals. And land spirits, what blessings do you give us tonight? <laughs> they give us beku, cattle. This is wealth, movable wealth, as in money. We are getting protection for the days to come. Protection in two forms. In forms of something we can hide in, like the elk sedge. Something like the thorn, which will hurt any that come to us. But if we watch over ourselves and protect ourselves, there will be a prosperous future in store. I think these omens are good. Do we accept these omens? The ancient and mighty ones. Fill these waters. Fill them with Thorazaz, the Thor. Fill them with Elhaz, the Elk, and the Elk Sesh. Fill these waters with Fehu, the K, 
cattle and wealth. Fill these waters not just in my hands, but to all who are pending this right. Behold the waters of life. And we drink of these waters. And now we thank all those that have joined. Land spirits, be you seen or unseen, animal, plant, or otherwise. All of you, for all that you do for us, we thank you. Shining ones, now let's try ancestors first. Ancestors, you who look over each and every one of us, be you of our own blood, you are friends or be you of this place. Ancestors all, we thank you. And shining ones, gods and goddesses of other days, each and every one of you that look over each and every one of us for all that you do within our lives. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers all, you who work with each and every one of us, once again join your magic with mine and may these, this tree become but a tree once more. May this fire become a flame once more. And this well become but water once more. And may the gates be closed, not just in my home but in each and every one of our homes. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. Without you, we would not be here. For all that you do for us, even in this horrible heat, which hopefully will break later this week, Earth Mother, we thank you. Go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this right has ended.